Guess what? It's April, and it's time for your tarot reading. I'm sorry I lost my voice. That's why they're a little bit late, and that's also why it sounds like shit, but let's get started. Hey, Leos. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at your social and emotional well-being. We are going to look at um, your career, and then we're also going to look at your love life, whether you're single, coupled, or in a non-defined relationship, like it's not Facebook official, maybe it's on again, off again, maybe it's polyamorous. Um, so let's get started. Now, I'm going to this month uh, not put in the crystal of the month and not add in your lucky days because I am trying to preserve my voice and get through these videos a little quicker than usual. So if you are not signed up for my email list, well, you should be because that's where you're going to find that information. But also um, because every single month I send out an email and I um, select somebody from the list just magically, intuitively. My guides pick the person who needs a 20-minute um, video reading for free. And so that's how you enter to win. And I only send one email a month. So it's not like when you watch an annoying webinar and then like you know, you get 75,000 emails a day. It's nothing like that. You just get one a month. And so then if you, anyway, that's how you win. <laughs> okay, so Leo's my darlings. First thing before we get started, they're like, people are admiring you. Everybody wants to fuck you, but they're intimidated. It's too hard for them um, to come out and say that. And not only that, but they want to be you. Aries had a very similar energy um, for those in the on-again, off-again relationships. But this is all Leos. So if you have like an Aries moon, holy shit, that's going to be powerful for you. Um, speaking of which, when you watch your love aspects of the readings, you're going to want to watch your moon sign more than you're going to want to watch your sun sign because our moon signs correlate to like our inner selves, our motivations, um, and, you know, how we make our decisions based on our emotions, which is like completely how we handle our love lives. So anyway, what they're saying is don't overgive to people. You are continuously nurturing people. And, um, you know, you get a little bit of self-worth from that. Like Leos are known for being generous, but just make sure that you're cautious with your giving this month. Um, you just existing is giving enough this month is basically what they're saying. So... Now let's get on to the reading. What's up with your social and emotional self this month? And they're saying um, this should be an exciting time for you. Now some friendships and um, social situations, things like that, some emotional stuff regarding our friends or um, you know the people we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, whether they're colleagues or family members, some of those relationships are going to have drama. But here's the thing, is that as you vibrate up, as your vibration raises, if they're not keeping pace with you, they're just get naturally going to fall out. They're just naturally going to fall out of your life, and it's okay. Let that shit go. Because what's going to happen is, as soon as you kind of remove these friendships, these people, these situations from your life, new and better things are built in their place, and this is something to actually be excited about. Now, it does feel a little bit scary, a little bit stressful, a little bit sad as we're going through it, but it's so freaking worth it. So if you're, um, for example, let's say you're in a relationship, and you're just kind of like, oh man, this is going to cause some drama. I'm going to break this guy's heart, and when I break up with him, and ah. And, but it's like, it's okay though, because it's only creating a new opportunity for you to be more excited to be with somebody that's more exciting to be with. So there's that. Same thing is true in friendships. Now, um, what is going to kind of strengthen your spirit this month? And they're saying like, you're very in touch with your feelings and you're being more nurturing, like with yourself, you're being more gentle with yourself, more self care, more self love. And so, um, that's working to your benefit. And that's why we're in the situation where things are, things and people are going to vibrate out and new and better things are going to come in our place. Like we're accidentally manifesting more loving and positive, um, situations for ourselves. So in regards to your career or your money, even though they are not the same thing, they are often tied together, they're saying this is the hard place for you in April. And they're saying it's really hard for you to kind of get in touch with what it is you love doing. So, you know, maybe you have this career and, you know, it's your passion. But here's the thing. There's certain aspects of it that are not aligned with your passion. They're, they're not things you love to do. So let's say, for example, you're a nurse and you love helping people, but you hate documenting and charting everything um, in regards to your patients, or you hate calling back with results, or um, you hate dealing with the asshole doctor that you work with every day, or, you know, maybe you run your own business and it's, um, let's say you make jewelry, 
and you love doing that, but you hate all the um, posting shit to your website that you have to do, but it just kind of comes with the package. And so they're saying like, it's going to be hard for you to continue to feel the love or the joy for what you're doing in the meantime. Um, and, you know, like that light might be dimmed because of the extraneous other things. But they're saying your luck is uh, about to change should you find some way or some system, a person to help you out with this. By eliminating the parts that you don't like, you could outsource those, you know, to India. Or um, you could hire, you know, a neighborhood kid. Or you could, you know, if it's like a situation with a colleague, you could say, hey, I am willing to do, you know, ABC for you if you can take over these tasks so you're better at it. That kind of a thing. Now you might be like, um, I don't even know how that's possible. I can't generate uh, more profit if I'm paying somebody, you know, to do X, Y, Z. And they're like, yeah, you can because you're a magnet for success right now. And actually this other person is exactly what you need to kind of propel you forward and to get people to notice you. They might have a secret skill that you're not aware of. They might be better at something than you are, or they might be a good source of advertising. They might say, hey, I'm so excited. I got this new job and I really love it, or you know, who knows what. So anyway, in regards to your love life, if you are single, they're saying, okay, so anyone from the past, like that's just done. And now it's easier to kind of look backwards and go, okay, you know what? Like maybe there weren't as many happy memories as I thought. There might be more negative memories or maybe the happy memories were not so happy as I imagined. So like in my personal life, like I have an ex that I was like, you know what though? In, even though he's a total cunt, he's just the worst, very manipulative and abusive, like is fucking horrible but there were certain times when it was like oh my gosh like that thing that he did was so romantic so for example in a nightclub I was like wow I really like those blue and purple lights so when I wasn't looking he slipped the light guy like a hundred bucks and then for the rest of the time we were there they only did like the purple and blue lights and I was like oh that's so sweet but not even remembering like he was major in the doghouse for something who even knows what, because he was so horrible. But, like, it's not really that sweet. Because had he not been in trouble, he wouldn't have done something sweet like that. And also, that was more about his own ego. Like, hey, look how awesome I am to throw money around. Right? It's very douchey. So anyway, that's what I'm saying. Is These are the kind of realizations that you have. Okay? So, what they're saying is, it's been challenging to kind of come to these realizations and the relationships that you've been through, whether your ex was amazing or whether they were a villain, like they could have been amazing, but it just, you weren't, you know, into it or whatever. But they're saying like, you know, all of that stuff now it's in the past and you've kind of gone through this period of time where you can kind of rest now. And so now you're kind of like, oh man, it's going to be a challenge to get back out there. Like, I don't know if this is something I really want to do again. Is this um, something I really want to put my energy into? It might be more work than it's worth. Oh my gosh. But what they're saying is, you know, the universe, God, spirit, the angels, whatever, your higher self is very aware of what's going on and they very much helped you they've been looking over you to get to this point and so to think that they would abandon you now and not help you through this next challenge is silly um, there is a plan in place working behind the scenes you might not be able to see it or feel it but love is coming for you it really is so you just have to be open to your intuition they're saying like it does require you to 100 million percent completely let go. So if you are in an on and off again relationship, but you're watching this part waiting for your turn, this shit don't apply to you. This is only for people who are 100 percent moving on and not because not out of like rebound because like I have to forget about you. No, because I fucking forgot about you. Because I am done. I am over it. Okay, this is who I'm talking to right here. So. 
Um, they're saying this is what puts you in this state of the empress energy where you might be slightly um, inapproachable, unfortunately. So you might have to start conversations if you notice that people are looking at you. But you are very much radiating this super desirable vibe. Um, everybody wants to be around you. Everybody wants to be you. And that's the power for you this month in regards to your love life. Now, if you're single, but you may be still holding on to some stuff. What's the situation for you? And they're like, well, you should still be optimistic. You don't necessarily know what's going to come next. And, you know, it might be good. It might not be. But you should be hopeful that it's going to be awesome. They're saying, you know, uh, you can also have what you want. It just might take a tiny bit longer. Or more than that, though, it's not even about the speed. It's a little bit more like what you think you want isn't 100% what you actually need yet, but you'll learn that, okay? Now, for those of you who are coupled, Leos, okay, so they're like, we're getting to this place of like smooth calmness, the emotional chaos is over between you and your partner, and so for some of you, this is a breakup. For some of you, this is the realization that I am with the wrong person, okay? And so I just don't want to fight anymore. So bye, Felicia. But for others of you, this is more about we have finally figured out a communication style that works for us. Finally. Finally. And thank God. And I'm getting chills because like some of you, it's like, oh my God, I've been waiting 23. That's a very precise number for somebody. I've been waiting 23 years to learn how to not argue with you, but still get my point across. And you did it. Yay. Okay. So for those of you in non-defined relationships, they're saying spending time with others is awesome. You don't want to be on your own. Um, they're saying like the more time that you spend alone this month, the less confident you're going to feel. For whatever reason, it seems like being around other people is going to boost your confidence. And that usually kind of sounds unhealthy, right? Like codependency and sh shit like that. But actually what they're saying is this is – um going to create new opportunities for you. So some of you might actually be moving in with somebody, which doesn't sound very logical if you're in a non-defined relationship, if it's not Facebook official, you know, or if it's um, on again, off again, or if it's, it only really makes sense in a polyamorous kind of situation. But um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you know, you're moving in with this person. You could just be moving in with a bestie, getting a roommate. You could just be moving to a different house. But there's definitely, for some people, this is going to be like moving to a different job. But there's all of this like um, change in regards to day-to-day -day life and stability that's happening here that will bring awesome opportunities for you and your love life. But that's going to play out different for everybody. So a personal reading would be more succinct and precise. So anyway, what they're saying is, um, you know, we might not be, okay, this is going to be, this is kind of annoying. So basically they're saying, remember how I was like, hey, it's really important that you spend your time around other people um, because this is going to create opportunities for you. We, what they're saying is like you don't need to be the aggressor though. You don't need to be the pursuer. You don't need to add, um, send out text messages or Facebook messages and be like, hey, who wants to hang out? You just need to be you and wait for the people to show up to you. So you really want to be in this yes mode even if it's not things that you'd usually do. So like if somebody's like, hey, do you want to see my friend's band? I'd be like, no. That sounds horrible. Like, it's probably not music I like. Um, then we're probably going to have to hang out with your friend, and I don't know that I like them. You know, that kind of stuff. But in this situation, you want to be like, yeah. You want to be like, yes, 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 to any opportunities that come your way. They're saying this is going to create this kind of situation for you where there's a lot of growth to be had, a lot of comfort, a lot of fun, a lot of joy. And it's actually not going to really cost you anything except for your time. So this is a good thing for you. They say this is a change that might seem scary. Like, it, for example, if somebody said, we have here in Minneapolis, I forget what it's called. It's like this, um, I don't know if it's like a BDSM like nightclub or if it's just like super goth, but it seems kind of scary for me, for my personality. Um, like there's people who like hang from their skin there, and then there's this like, there's actually like this midget who lays on the floor and then wants um, girls with high heels, like stilettos to stomp on him, I guess. I guess, or dwarf, 
is the more appropriate term, I believe. Anyway, these are the things I've heard about the place. Not my style. Not bagging on anyone that that is their style. But, you know, naturally, as a Leo, if somebody's like, hey, you want to go to this? I'd be like, mm -mm, no, no thanks. Let's, let's go dance bachata. <laughs> but it's important that I try something different. Even though it might be scary, it could create this new opportunity for me because maybe I go there and I am like, oh, I never knew how sexy this was. Or maybe I go there and I bond with somebody who feels exactly as awkward as I do there or is uncomfortable. Or maybe I find out that I'm, you know, maybe I find out that it's like totally safe and fun to try new things and that was an adventure and I love adventure because I'm a Leo. You know, something like that. So basically, um, be open to invitations and they're saying, because like your true, true love can come through that way. Not necessarily somebody who invites you somewhere, but somewhere new that you go. Okay, so they're saying like the Ten of Cups, that happily ever after, that that pure joy and love and romance energy, like people coming and giving you like compliments and gifts and just back rubs, amazing things that you desire comes through by way of saying yes to situations that you typically wouldn't, okay? Now, I wanted to pull an affirmation card for you all, uh, for Leos in general. And they're saying, my happy thoughts help create my happy body, which is totally true because our mind-body-spirit connection is more real than a lot of people um, understand. And the research is starting to support that slowly but surely. So um, irritable bowel syndrome, for example, comes from untreated stress, anxiety, depression, like overwhelm. Um, same thing with fibromyalgia. Now, I'm not saying these situations, these um, ailments aren't real. They absolutely feel real. But what it is, is it's your body telling your brain like, hey, pay attention to what's going on in here. You know, like I am going to debilitate you to force you to get a fucking grip over your stress level um, to treat your anxiety and your depression. Like I will bring you to the depths of hell until you fucking fix it. That's what, what your brain is doing. It's like um, a defense mechanism. It's like a response in order to try to trick you into taking the rest and um, finding the peace that you actually need. And so with your affirmation, my happy thoughts help create my healthy body, this is 100% true. Um, the more joy you feel, the more awake you feel, the less cramped up your muscles are, the less tense you are. And so just something to keep in mind that you might want to increase your joy if you're feeling like junk this month. So one thing you can do is you can raise your hands up. Like when people win or when they're excited or like, you know, when woo girls not walk into the nightclub, they're like, yeah. And we all look at them like they're stupid, but we know that they're having fun and they're joyous. You can't just like throw your arms up in the air and feel depressed. You really honestly can't do that. So your psychology follows your physiology sometimes and so and vice versa. So the more that you do that, that's why exercise and meditation and stuff work. So that's what I want you to do. Your happy thoughts help create your healthy body and then your healthy body helps you to sustain the healthy thinking. So that is April. I love you. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!